A Republican majority in the House narrows even more as former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy announces he is leaving his congressional seat. Fox's Chad Pergram has reaction tonight from Capitol Hill. Giving my best to all of you has been my greatest honor. Former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy lost his leadership job. Now he's resigning from Congress after nearly two decades. It is time to pursue my passion in a new arena. In a Wall Street Journal op-ed titled, I'm leaving the House but not the fight, the California Republican says his work is just getting started. McCarthy says he plans to keep serving the nation in new ways but doesn't explain what this means. McCarthy was widely expected to depart after his unprecedented ouster from the Speaker's suite. The deadline to file for re-election was Friday. Disappointed but happy for him. McCarthy felt burned by colleagues who removed him in October. Former House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer said the two became friends, and others say it's a loss. The loss of Speaker McCarthy to this institution is going to be felt for a long time. He is uh, an institution unto itself. You know, there are days where I respected Kevin McCarthy and some days I did not, but I have to tell you that I do believe in his heart he was trying to keep the Republican Party and conference together. McCarthy's departure narrows the House Republican majority. The new breakdown, 220 Republicans to 213 Democrats. Republicans can only afford to lose three votes to pass any legislation. When asked about the new slim majority, House Speaker Mike Johnson said he wasn't concerned. But Kevin is a, has been a long and trusted friend, and he commends his long service and sacrifices for the House. And um, we wish him well in the next endeavor. I'm, I'm sad to see him go. A special election to succeed McCarthy likely comes in the spring. On Capitol Hill, Chad Pergram, Fox News.